Hello my beautiful bitterroots and welcome to my channel and today I've got March Empties. Now you will see a lot of sample products in here that's because they are all the stuff that I've used up in this month and so you'll kind of sort of see it in two places. So let's go on to my bigger big bulky products. Uh, this was a duo. I, no, no, not this one. It's this one. I can't find it. Okay, so Caroluma, Caroluma, and this one is cleanse and detox. So it's a it's a thing to go together. You take one in the morning, one at night. Um, did I see anything in these? No. This one's supposed to be appetite control, inhibits fat storage, and it's all natural. Saw absolutely nothing. Same with this cleanse and detox. I'm sorry, but cleanses and detox are supposed to make you poop, not plug you up. FYI. Never. Never again. No, 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 no. Once I stopped using that, I was back to my normal self. TMI, I know. TMI, I know. But... When you take a cleanse, you expect it to be cleansing and not to have the opposite effect. So I'm like, what's the point? Mm. Next product I had was this Hair, Skin, and Nails by First Body. It's 50,000 MCG of biotin per serving. Yeah, this was a good thing. I mean, I would probably repurchase it if it's in my price range. So yeah, this one wasn't bad. I I don't know if I really saw any difference in my hair, skin, or nails, but it's always a good thing to take anyway. So I finished that up. I finished up another can of Julep Dry Invisible Dry Shampoo. I had two of these. And this one isn't as good as like the Amica or the Orbe. It still gets the job done, but it does leave a white cast, so if you spray it in your hair, you have to make sure you brush it out. But yeah, this is my last one. If it comes in one of my julep boxes, fine. That's fine. I'll use it, but I will not repurchase it. Kind of deal. But it's done. Done, done, done. Then I have the 7th Heaven Chocolate Mud Mask. This was a good mask. I did enjoy it. It... Um, I didn't really see like a whole lot of benefits to my skin, but you know, I did enjoy it. Now one that I enjoyed a lot more was this Freeman Diamond Mineral um, Rinse Mask. This one I absolutely loved. It was cooling. It felt amazing. I'd go on my five mile, mile um, walk and then I would get all cleaned up and I'd use this and this was so cooling and felt so amazing on my skin after being so hot and on my walk that I would completely buy this and I would buy the full size and one thing that I do like about the Freeman is you can buy these in these little sample packets where you get anywhere from two to four applications without having to buy the big ones so you can try you can afford you know if they're what a dollar thirty seven at Walmart you could afford to try to buy these and find one that really works for you and go for it. And so this is definitely one that I would repurchase. I really, really, really do um, enjoy it. And I think this is what I got from my secret Valentine. Yeah, I got it from my secret Valentine from Miss Marina. So I really didn't enjoy that. Um, next thing I finished up was this Fox Brim 100% Natural Argan Oil. Now this was a good product. I mean, there's other Fox Brim products that I prefer better, but I mean, I was very faithful about using this, and I was using it for everything: my skin, my hair. I mean, just just everything, my trouble spots. So it is a good product. I don't know if I would go out and repurchase it. But that's just because I've got so much argan oil in this house, I will never have to buy another one again. But that's done. Um, this is, this I found in my car. I was doing some spring cleaning in my car and I found this in the door. Who knows how long it's been in there. But it's instant hand sanitizer with aloe and vitamin E. And I'm allergic to it. I, and I don't know why I kept it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see the expiration date on that? 12, 2011. 
This expired five years ago. So this has been in my car for five years. That ain't good. So yeah, I used it once and I couldn't use it again, but I was out somewhere. So I just threw it back in the door of my car and then forgot all about it. Okay. So let's get rid of some of these. I've got an Olay makeup remover. I showed two of these in my last empties. I, I got them on clearance at Target, but they're all right. I mean, if I had to use them, yeah, I would probably, if there was nothing else to buy, I would probably buy it, but I love my Dickinson's Witch Hazel towelettes much better than these Olay ones, so. Then I have a Dr. Jart mask that I used. It was a good mask. It wasn't like totally to write home about, but I mean it was a it was a nice mask. It was a sheet mask. So and I have these body pure keratin gloves and socks. This was very interesting. They were plastic little mitten or gloves and and socks they put on and it had this keratin stuff in and it was when you put your foot in it was super cold. Um and then you rub this into your cuticles, into your heels and stuff like that. And then you take off, after a certain amount of time, you take off the 20 minutes. You take off the plastic on your hands and your feet and you massage all that stuff into your feet. And so what I did is I just brought it up my legs and up my arms to rub it all in. It was interesting. I don't know if I would really purchase it, but it was nice. I mean, it was nice. So I probably, I mean, I've got some, two more of these packages just for of the socks, not of the socks and gloves. But, you know, I'll use it. I don't know if I'd actively go out and seek it to buy it. But, you know, you never know. So then I've got a bunch of these hearts. And they were these comp pink compressed sponges. Um, they were all right. I mean, they were just a sponge you're using on your face. There was like... Nothing spectacular about them. I love my cognac sponges way better than this. So not something that I would repurchase. It was something that was sent maybe in a, one of my Tom mystery boxes. I can't remember. Then I have this minus 417 foot cream. I absolutely positively love this. It's amazing, but it's not in my price range. Just sad. It's really sad. So I have to say goodbye because I used it up. I loved it. The smell was amazing, amazing, amazing. Then I have this Kevin Murphy shampoo and conditioner. It was a nice set. I don't know if I would go out and buy it, but I mean, I did enjoy it while I had it kind of deal, but I mean, it wasn't like total wow factor to where I need to go out and buy it like immediately kind of deal. It was nice. I have this pure silk uh, shave cream that I went through. It was just a little sample travel size. And it's nice. I would probably repurchase it when I run out of all my other stuff. So I went through another Hello Fluoride Toothpaste in Mojito Mint. So I really did enjoy this. And I would repurchase it for sure. Um, then I have this Amica Dry Shampoo. I do enjoy this. It's got minimal white cast, so I, you just spray it in, wait a while, brush it through, you're good. I do enjoy this. I will I will use repurchase more. I, I know you can buy the travel size for like nine bucks on Birchbox, I believe, but I've got a couple other samples of this because they always come in some sort of thing. Um, I finished one of my favorite toothpastes, which is this Armor Hammer Arm & Hammer Truly Radiant Clean Fresh Toothpaste. This was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Really, really, really enjoyed it. So this is definitely something that I would repurchase over and over and over and over and over and over again. So there's that. I have this Rockstar Hand Cream that I finished up. This was a nice hand cream. I don't know if I would buy it just because there's a lot of hand creams out there. But I did enjoy it while I had it. Then I have this ACV by DP Hue. It's apple cider vinegar hair rinse. This was a good product. I liked this hair rinse better than one of the other hair rinses that I went through. But I was looking at the ingredients and I'm like, I've got all these ingredients minus a lot of the other stuff that's in there. 
I could make these hair rinses myself. So maybe in a future video, I'll show you guys what I do to remake this homemade. Then I decluttered a little sample perfume. It's the Dream Angels Heavenly. It's just, I would tr you could tell that I tried to get through it. It was in a Christmas set of like six or eight little sample perfumes. And I was using up all my favorites first. And then by the time I got to the last one, I'm sitting there going, this stinks. Ugh. Ugh. I tried to even give it to my mom. My mom wouldn't even take it. No. So that is cool. Bye bye. Ooh. Then I have this Estee Lauder uh, face cream. I did not like the scent of this at all. It was gross. It kind of made me nauseous. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. No. 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 So what I would purchase this obviously not because the scent was black and. To be quite honest, I feel that there are better products out there. And I had high hopes for Estee Lauder. I finished up a one minute mani manicure in Pink Lily. This was a uh, uh, salt scrub and I loved the scent. It smells so good. Oh, I got oil on my nose. But I can remake this. It's something I can remake. So I've got a few other uh, salt scrubs that I can, uh, that I'm going to use up but then after that I'm just going to start making my own and I will also do that in a future video on how I make this from scratch. Here is some Depuff iPads. They were all right. They weren't nothing to write home about but you know I did like it. I don't know. I don't really have a whole lot of puffiness going on underneath my eyes so I didn't see anything different after using it once but I tried to use this Biore Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser. It is cooling to the skin, but my skin did not like it. No. This I did really like. This is Clairol Hair Food, and this is in um, the Apricot. I really, really, really did love this, and when I get through all of my... I've got years of shampoo. Once I go through that, I'll, I'll think about pay, <laughs> buying the full size of this because I didn't really enjoy it. Next I've got the Shrey um, mask. This came in BoxyCharm and it was a nice and it was a really nice mask. It stayed on my face so I was able to get up and walk around even though it was a sheet mask and it did feel nice after using it. I used up the CeraVe a healing ointment. I used it on my elbows, on my knees, on my feet. It was this this is a huge bottle for the amount of product that they actually put in there. I used it two to three times a day for a full week and I used it up. The first um, base of this is uh, petroleum and but I mean it just, I wouldn't re I wouldn't repurchase this. I think I've got another sample, and I won't go out and buy, buy this. I I don't think it was that special. Next thing I finished was this SW Basics Three Ingredients Exfoliant Powder. You put it in your hand, you add some water, and you put it on your face. The problem with this, and yeah, it's only three ingredients, but it stunk so bad. I'm in the shower, and I am like get I'm like. Bleh in the shower it I could not get that stuff off my face fast enough it stunk that bad I literally thought I was going to puke in the shower not pretty not pretty finished up this little sample of watercrest um, serum this was a good serum but the biggest problem with this was when my husband would kiss me He's like, something's on your face doesn't taste very good, and it's very bitter. So my husband hated it, and because it's bitter, and my husband was like, bleh, you know, that ain't pretty. When your husband kisses you, and he's like, bleh. <laughs> so needless to say, would I buy this? No, because I don't want my husband to kiss me and go, bleh. Yeah. This is a Burt's Bees lip balm that we went through. I love Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees I'll use every all the time. I love it. 
It's a product I like. What else have I used up? Oh, this was a sample of the Olay Regenerous Luminous Tone Perfecting Cream Moisturizer. I did enjoy this. This was a good product. I did like this. I liked it much better than the Estee Lauder one, for sure. I used up uh, this ca Lavender Chamomile Foaming Bath Salts. And it doesn't foam in my bathtub. I think my bathtub is just too big for this little sample size. But, I mean, it's a nice product. I would need to use like three or four of them to, to actually smell it in my bath. You know, I don't, I didn't smell this in my bath. Anything else we used up? Oh, we used up an Abriva. And Lissa is sick right now and she's got a lot of cold sores on her upper lip, so her upper lip is like extremely swollen, but they finally surfaced and they're doing its job, but we finished up that. Um, anything else that I finished up? Nope, everything else was just declutter because I either didn't like it or because they expired. So this was one thing that I did not like at all. This was all natural tinted lip balm by Mullen and Sparrow. And it's a light tinted balm. It doesn't even show any color whatsoever. I made it pretty much of a dent on it. But the problem with this is you have to apply it like every 15 minutes. Like every 15 minutes. And then I noticed within a week and a half of using this that my lips started feeling really, really tight and dry. Like there was Elmer's glue dried on my lips. It's not a pretty feeling. I hated it. So I am just going to toss it. It's crap. It's not a good product at all. I don't like it. Bye bye. Next thing that's expired was this Burt's Bees Acne Salute Solution Spot Treatment. And it used to say the expiration date. I think it, it expired in 2006, something like that. I mean, I held on to it forever. I don't have acne problems, so obviously I only use like this much of it. And I don't think it was like something that really, it's got salicylic acid in it, but I just don't feel that it was not something that I would reuse, so. Another thing that expired was this Clear Eyes Contact Lens Multi-Action Relief. This expired in 2014. I rarely use this stuff. I don't know why I buy it when I rarely use it. If I do need something, I just pour some contact solution in my eye. You know, it's not that. It's pretty much the same thing. So yeah, this expired two years ago. So, bye-bye. There's another one that I actually did like, but I didn't use as often before it expired. This expired in 2012. So this is Rido and it's Arctic and it's like super minty when you put it in your eyes but it like immediately removes the the red eye. So you can tell that I used quite a bit but it's like way way way. 2012. This is four years old. Like really? Really Zelma? So yeah. Bye bye. Next thing I found that was super old is this Avon Moisture Therapy um, lip ointment. And I think I only used it a couple times because I'm not a fan of like the Vaseline type lip products. I don't like it at all and this just reminds me of Vaseline. And so, and I believe this is expired too because it's like super old. Oh, expired in 2013. Wow. Wow. Go through your stuff, guys. Look at those expiration dates. You'd be surprised. Here's another eye drop. See, that's this is eye drops number three, and I know I've decluttered other eye drops, but this is um, for sensitive eyes, rewetting drops. This expired in 2015, September of 2015, so this isn't as old as the rest, but because it's like six months past expiration. I'm just decluttering it. And the last thing I'm decluttering is this Jelly Belly Cotton Candy Lip Balm. It's just really, really, really old. Probably way past expiration. Doesn't say, but it's old. And we're done. And we're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.